What is what? That disc-like disc. thing. A disc-like thing? Yeah, it's like a little disc thing. That looks like the lander. The lander? Is that the actual name of it? I'm Lunar lander, I'm pretty sure, yeah. The actual pod that gets dropped onto the surface. Guys, we're building a two and a half foot rocket. Mm -hmm. That thing is gonna be huge. <laughs> People are starting to come on. Say hey, everybody. Hey, Donna. Hey, Donna. <clears throat> Hi, Trisha. Hey, Trisha. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> we should open this up. Yeah, What's the back say? It says, with this unique inter interactive guide to rockets, you build the model of the mighty Saturn V and learn fa fascinating facts about space exploration. How fast does a rocket need to go to escape Earth's gravity? Which rocket stood 60 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty? Wow. Which rocket stood 60 feet taller? Oh, which rockets look like in the future? Little rockets click. Discover the answers to all these questions and more as you build the Saturn V rocket. Linda says it's good to see Austin again. <laughs> Ella sent 500 stars. Thank you. Thank you for the stars. Do you want to tell everybody real quick before you get started on the rocket what the stars are for? So the stars are for us to go down to Florida and get a star tree. Well, actually two star trees. And people are asking, who's next to you? So you want to introduce who's next to you? You can introduce yourself. Oh, okay. I am Austin, and I am this little Brainiac's uncle. <laughs> so Uncle Austin, huh? Uncle Austin. He's Nana's baby child. Mm -hmm. I have two children. He's the baby of the two. <laughs> Anna's mom is the older. He's the younger. Okay, let's open this up. So this is the guide. So, so they're gonna build a rocket together. Uncle Austin's been over helping me get my stuff together for our trip. Can you like flatten this page up for me, please? Sure. So Marlene wants to know how you are, Austin. I've been doing pretty good, just getting by, lazing around most of the time, trying to find a new job. So the Saturn V rocket. <laughs> so it says the Saturn V rocket. The mighty, the mighty Saturn V rocket was built to send American astronauts to the moon. It was a giant, so 363 feet high on the launch pad, and with its fuel tanks full and ready for it to launch. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. How oh, that's tall true. It is. I have three kids now, and Austin's the middle child. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's she's your niece and your sister. <laughs> niece, sister. <laughs> if that isn't enough to break your brain. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Especially on five hours of sleep. <laughs> I just, look it. This Saturn V rocket, it weighed more than six million pounds. Six million pounds. Over. I can't even, I don't even know what that is. That's so much. Probably because it's so tall. Yeah, I can't it even weigh think a of a comparison. Probably because it's so tall, it would weigh, it would weigh a lot. And the thing is, they used materials to make it weigh as little as they could, too. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because you imagine the amount of force that it must take to get a six million pound something up into the air. And yeah. it's not like a plane where it has the wing shape to provide lift. It just is a needle going straight up. Right. It kind of does look like a needle. Probably mm -hmm. because of this little thing at the top. <laughs> it's actually a rocket. We're there, right? Yeah, yeah, six million pounds, so. The ground shook for miles around when its engines fired. Three astronauts traveled in Apollo spacecraft perched on the top of the rocket. Thirteen Saturn Apollo V rockets were launched between 1967 and 1973. 
The last one launched the first American space station, Skylab, and no one has built bigger or more powerful rocket engines since then. Yeah, because, what, SpaceX is not even half the size, I want to say? Huh. Most yeah. of their stuff? I think this rocket would be, like, from the floor, like, up to where your arm is right now. Oh, the model? Yeah. Mm, two Maybe. and a half feet. A I'd say from the floor, probably about to there, a is my guess. Table, right? Yeah, yeah. like a, maybe three or four inches off the table. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, how about we go over the diagram right here, and then we can show the camera. We should start, pull, yeah, and then start pulling out the, the rocket pieces. Let's see. Which are in the back. Yeah. You probably have I to I can probably the pull top. them out while she's reading, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you should you should just keep it like this for me when I'm reading so I can read it better. All right. The Saturn V rocket was built from three rockets <gasps> called stages. The stages were stacked one on top of the other. Uh, and then the Apollo spacecraft was hoisted. Hoisted? Hoisted, yeah. Yep, hoisted. Uh, I keep losing my... It's right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was hoisted onto the top. Hmm. The rocket was built in one of the biggest buildings in the world. The Vehicle Assembly Building. Wow. At the Kidney... At the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Mm-hmm. We could probably visit there. See all the rockets. Show them the, uh... Well, diagram right here. Wow. Labeling all the different parts. That's a cool book. I don't get yeah. the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see the pieces. I think they, they come off the top. So I'm trying pieces. to see if they have like a. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, the. Okay, the last <gasps> page is something else, so. Maybe yeah, right please. here, I got some tape. Wait. To remove. <gasps> that was, that's a so Mars to rover. Put the rocket. See? Oh. That's the Mars rover? Yeah. Looks like it. Let's say which Carla one. Says, how old are you, Anna? I'm actually five and a half, almost six. No, it doesn't say which one, but I'm pretty sure that's um Oh, what was the one that ran out of battery recently? I can't remember the name. Oh, I don't know. Curiosity, I think. Stacy says, did Anna see the launch of regular, what? Uh, the, the are you talking about, uh, are you talking about Jeff Bezos, rocket? his launch? No, we didn't watch any, any of that stuff. What's the last thing you saw, Anna? You saw the... I saw the Perseverance uh, launch thing. Oh, you did watch that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's got pictures in her astronaut suit. Oh, you should have wore your astronaut sh suit tonight, <laughs> putting the rockets <laughs> together. That would have been cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there. Thank you for the stars. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jill. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Karen. What you trying to do? Karen says, hugs, hugs, hugs. Hope your back <laughs> is better. Oh, thank you. It is. I'm still sore. I've been... I've been non-stop every day like just getting as much done as possible but i'm okay usborne books have a great book all about space anna has probably all of the space books from usborne we used to we sold usborne books we're actually probably still affiliated but we used them to fundraise for her leg surgery mm -hmm. can't get i love those books on anna loves those books too she's got a lot of them yeah when is surgery, Tammy? Surgery is at the end of August. But we're leaving next week. Next week! My goodness. Like panic. I think you have to... Have we gotten, like, any packing done yet? Is there any yeah, more yeah, tape? Yeah, we've, oh, okay. we've gotten some packing done. Oh. And there's still a bunch to do. Oh, okay, so they have it all in, um, boards. Okay. 
So that actually makes it easier. All right, let's see. Hey, if you guys are settled in and you're gonna watch Anna and Austin build a rocket, how about if you give the feed a share, we can get some more people in here and watch them build the rocket. Okay. Share, 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 share. It's it, you don't, you don't have to close it. Thank you, Tammy. It'll be good, I'm excited. I'm excited for the trip. I'm excited to get settled in down there. No, we're not going to be doing anything fun before surgery because she has to quarantine for surgery. She has to stay healthy. If she even catches a cold, she'll so cancel surgery. And with the new uh, variant okay. running rampant down in Florida right now, you want to read through right those while now, I get these? It's not a good time to be. Here, I should anything. read the instructions for you. This, yeah, this is the instructions. I should, so, yeah, you should read the instructions and then Austin can help six the boards. Six boards. Six boards of pieces. Lisa, it's her uncle, not her brother. <laughs> <laughs> technically both. Now. Well, yeah, yeah, technically now that I've adopted her. So. Looks like an easy build. They even got the little lander. Which actually is the lunar module is what it's technically called. Mm, so. Okay. Hmm. Put these back in the right order. So. Thank you, Lisa. Do you want to start reading the instructions or do we want to go through the rest of the book? Uh, you should take the book off the table for me real quick so I just have some more space for this. Sure thing. <laughs> so how do you even open this thing? Can you open uh, Looks that like you way? unfold it like a map. Oh, he's not my brother. That's my son. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Okay, so, oh. step one, we need the feet for the it. feet? Yeah, like the... Does it have a part name? It says A1, A3, Oh no, this is just showing all the pieces, okay. So, stage two, for the feet, we need A1, A2, and A3. The actual instructions, okay, so this is stage one we want, right there. Okay, so A would be A1, A2. Okay. Gail says, welcome back, Austin. Nice to see you again. <laughs> nice to be here again. You'd find something that looked like yeah, rocket So feet. that's this piece right here. Yep. I got A3. A1, A2, A3, yep. A1 through 5. <laughs> How easy do these pop out, I wonder? Oh, really easy. You just have to pop. You have what grade is she in? She's uh, starting second grade in the fall. Let's pop out like super easy. Those I think you're supposed sort to of. push through. They uh yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. Okay, so Here's these, and then we need a one, a two, and a three. Yep. I mean, the other A1, A2, and A3. This thing is so long. I can't even put it anywhere. Here, I'll put it up, Let's see. up here. Are there any parts we're missing? Uh, yes. Looks like it. We need a circle with... Linda mm -hmm. says love from Ontario, Canada. We need a... I, just, I was just on the phone with Canada today. <laughs> It's all the same piece. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even mean for that one to pop out. <laughs> I feel like there is... Here, I think... Ah, this... here we go. These. These are what we're missing. This goes this way. Is my daughter as smart as Anna? <laughs> um, I mean, High IQ does kind of run in our family on my mother's side because my siblings are all pretty smart too. All right, here we go. <laughs> How do you even so know? we need to get these little thin pieces out. But I think Anna's, I think Anna's uh, is, is both genetic and environmental because of her condition. Cause you know, if you think about it, babies usually spend the first couple years of their life exploring their environment with their bodies. And Anna couldn't do that because her, her body doesn't function the way that ours does. So she was kind of forced to use her brain for everything from the get-go. 
And I think that caused more neurological connections, it caused more brain development. Got it? Yep. Couldn't pop it out. Might help if you bend it a little bit, give it a little flex. Yeah. Pushing it out is better than like bending it for me because I'm different. Right. From other people. Yes, Teresa, she's she's biologically my granddaughter, but I've been raising her since she was four months old and I've adopted her, so legally she's my daughter now. Yay! It's working. Okay. And these slide right in like that, it looks like. If that's even right. <laughs> if that's even right. <laughs> Got the sass going. <laughs> it's another thing that runs in the family. Here, let me put this one in. Yeah. So I just slide it right in this hole. Yeah. Oh, nice job, baby. Here, I'll hold this still for you. Yeah, Betty, Austin's been around a lot. Like, he used to actually, he was actually her nanny for a while when she was younger. Six months, I want to say. Somewhere around that. Somewhere between six months and a year. When I first started my job years ago. There. Yay! Look it, I did it! <laughs> Here, do another one. B2 can go. I'll get this one. All right. Can go here. Look at that. You got the base of a rocket going. Maybe get a little. Super cool. Garbage bag or something for these. Oh. No. I mean, we could use a little garbage bag. Or just a bowl to put them in for now, Yay! even. Look it. Base of a rocket. <laughs> See? Just. Okay. Keep them, just keep them in a pile and I'll, I'll clean them up when we're done. Look it, mommy. I see. How cool is that? Super cool. You're building a rocket. <laughs> All right. What's the next part? And I love that you're next helping part. Uncle Austin put the pieces in there. Next part. Ah. Looks like up here, stage. No, wait, no. Yeah, no. It's still stage one. So that would be. We did part B. Okay. So we need the round thing. What's the round part? The round thing. We need to. There's like a round circle with like bumps sticking out. Okay. Oh, it doesn't have a uh, letter labeling it? Uh, no. Thank you, Lisa. Same. I got a tank top okay. too. Aren't they wonderful? I love my tank top. It's so comfortable. Okay, I think it might be this one. Anna, Betty wants to know yeah. if you would like to be an astronaut. Yeah, I love to be an astronaut. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one popped out. So those I think need to... Karen says, I say that too, cool beans. <laughs> <laughs> cool beans. Okay, now I think Barbara this goes Barbara wants to know if the piece. rocket is oh, all yeah. paper. Um, it's like a card it's, card it's the same material as puzzles. Oh, it's okay. it, it actually exactly the same as like a thicker kind of puzzle piece. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so this looks like it goes on. Like Tracy, this. we don't have any merch available yeah. right now, but I'm gonna get some up. All right. Maybe What's before next? we leave for Florida, but if not, at the Part end of D. August. Part D. What's that say above it? So it's we'll have shirts right available there. again. Oh yeah. What's that say? Aw, oh, Michelle, tell her thank you. D says. Uh, the long sticks. Well, there's actually description up there. What does that say? Take side panel A6 and slide into booster base at A6. Take the opposite panel A7 and do the same. Fit the discs at D2 and D6. And also at E2 and E6. Okay. Then so add the remaining six side panels. It was A7 and A6. So A7... Is this? A7. Oh, Joanne, yeah, yes. That's A7. Yes, we got them. Yeah. It was the, the, the we went like yesterday, but it was the trip before that, a few days before that. One. 
Yes, we have them now. This is Thank before, you. I was looking for the, the email to email you back because I swear hmm. you emailed me and I couldn't find it. I'm oh. glad you popped on. Hi, Alberta. Is Thank there you. What I'm missing? No, it only looks like there's like two on both sides for this. Oh, here we go. Yep, that's it. It was on this page. Yeah, they have nice merch. I've been thinking They're about switching six. to another provider, yep. like another printer, but I really like the quality of their their clothes that they get. Okay, so I'm going to pop stuff. out these tiny slots. Okay, I'll get this one. I'll get the other. <clears throat> I don't know how well you guys can hear me way back here when Anna's talking. <laughs> oh. Someone said Austin is very patient. <laughs> I missed who said it. Thank you so much for the stars, you guys. Thank you. Hold on, I might have to take this down here. Yeah, I don't I don't talk about people I don't talk about other people's private business. Aw. Well thank you for buying one. Tell her thank you for buying one. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's really neat to think about, oh, somebody has one of your shirts. It's just, stop and think for a second about how many people now uh -huh. are wearing Kind People Do Beautiful Things t-shirts. Isn't that a cool? Lot. A lot of people. <laughs> Alright, this one's ready. Debbie says, is that a 3D We're... puzzle? Yes. We've got the bottom of a rocket, can you show them real quick, the bottom of the rocket ship? We've got the bottom of a rocket ship going. See? It's supposed to be a, what, two and a half foot rocket? Yep. Yep, two and a half. What is going on with this little tab? <laughs> we, got, we got 67%. If you guys are going to get this thing together on the line, you're going to have to hustle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find that other cog real quick. There's, you need two more cogs. I got one of them, the D2. The other one is E2. Donna wants to know how tall you are, Anna. Uh, I'm 43 inches. Here, this cell cell. I think it's like 43 and a half. It might be 44 now. We haven't measured her in a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Anna clearly loves her Uncle Austin. Yeah, <laughs> here. You can put that over there. Okay. Hand me the uh, panel, I'll finish it up for you. Where do these go? Here. These go on These are going to go on, yeah, on the sides somewhere. Nikki says, is Austin single? <laughs> every time I'm on a live. Every time. Uh. It's flattering, really. But. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll put the delete the what if shirts back up for sure. Because that right, was the only the time A6 we sold those. and A7. People seem to like them. Okay. I want to get Doesn't delete really the what ifs wristbands side. too at some point. So the USA part goes oh. on. Cindy said he's a handsome one. So A6 <laughs> goes on the right side. I believe it's like that from the looks of it there yeah oh julie says i get tons of comments on my princess anna bag that's <laughs> awesome i love cool. my kind people do beautiful things tote bags they're a lot of fun they're just they're, do they look so nice the colors are so sharp all right and then we need one of the panels was to below go the e. so d6 d2 is austin going to florida with us no he's not He's um, just Those helping me get ready. D2 slots. goes on the A6. Anna, Michelle wants to know what delete the what ifs means. Delete the what ifs means it's for people who mm -hmm. have anxiety and they don't know, and they don't really know how to control it. There was a day when I was getting my, my immunization, <laughs> my vaccine. Um, and I was having a lot of anxiety about getting my vaccine because I have an anxiety disorder and that's what I do, I anxiety. This one's <laughs> tricky. And uh, she told me, just delete the what ifs, mommy. So 
so it, it stuck. One of her quotes, just like kind people do beautiful things, is one of her quotes. That looks as like well. some kind of like table that like a Kim like a three a table. Muffin. Yeah. <laughs> it has rocket ship legs on the bottom. All right. Austin, you stud muffin. <laughs> Okay, boosters. You guys are going to make him blush. Stage two. <laughs> Why does it say stage two Not as hard boosters? as it would seem. Why does it say stage two boosters? Oh. Because that is the second stage in the rocket. So stage one, which we just built, once it's after a certain altitude, detaches from the rest of the rocket. And then stage two boosters initiate where the stage two boosters propel it further. Hmm. It says, assemble the stage two boosters, side panels, and discs in the same way. Looks like H1, H2, and H3. Okay. H1. That's I, so that must be stage three. Set that down here. H2. Want to get that little tab out? Yep. H1 H1, H2, and H3 Can you find H3? That's what I'm looking for right now Ah, ah there ah. we go I got it Where does these even go? These look like more feet There we go Ow, there's a table there Her surgery, her first, sur her first surgery, sorry, is at the end of August. Uh, we're leaving next week. The first surgery is at the end of August. Hey, Aaron's on. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Um, <laughs> sorry, totally got distracted. <laughs> um, her second surgery will likely be sometime in October. Okay, so. Oh no, that's I. That's the wrong one. So H2. Oh yeah, that goes like that. H1. H3. How old is, are you saying how old is the stud muffin? <laughs> Austin. Oh, 23. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't believe it's already 916. That's my son. You're talking to everybody. Just back off. <laughs> <clears throat> what are the surgeries? Um, she's having a, a lat to bicep muscle transfer. So they're going to take the lat muscle out of the right side yep. of her back and put it into her right bicep. Get the tab out of that one. <laughs> and then she's this having... This is I1. Um, yeah, it needs to go inside these parts. Oh, yeah. I too. She's having oh, that's what I just plates got. put in her legs below her knees. Donna says I have socks older than you, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that one. <laughs> Barbara says you guys are doing amazing building the rocket. It's coming mm -hmm. together. Thank you. He looks like me. Yes, he does. I know because when I use those filters that put a beard on me, I look just like my son. <laughs> she sent me one. <laughs> he was disturbed. <laughs> he said, he said, oh no. No, we're going to Florida for surgery. We there's no fun involved. This is definitely not a leisure trip. It's five months of surgery and rehab and go. therapy right. and, okay. and hopefully making a ton of progress, right? And then okay. and then we'll come home and Does it go this way? We'll yep. have to go back hopefully until later next year for maintenance. <laughs> Alright, 
and then push Austin it down. Austin shy? Mm, maybe a little bit, but he's he's fine once he gets comfortable. Now what does all this stuff go to? <laughs> well, next we gotta do. He's pretty. He's just well mannered. This part right here. I don't know if I'd necessarily call him shy. Okay. Looks like all the M pieces. N. M. M pieces. M. Oh, so here's that part. M S M Here. S M S M. Can you get the uh, things out of the center? Yep. Little tabs. Yes, I'm gonna set up a PO box in Florida so people can send cards and letters because I know a ton of people want to do that. Uh oh. Hmm. Part of this didn't want to pop out quite right. Okay, good, it didn't tear. I mean, he can be rowdy when we get riled up together, but yeah, he's pretty mild-mannered for the most part. He was on the floor of my kitchen laughing so hard two days ago, so it definitely happens. <laughs> what were we laughing about? Uh, I think. Is even a, pretty sure you left a lot harder than I did. For the, oh, that's right. You <laughs> smacked the mosquito on my back, and I thought I was gonna die in my heart. Yeah, yeah I kind of knocked the wind out of her, <laughs> but I got it. I got the mosquito. <laughs> These tabs aren't coming out. Oh, there's one. Brother, uncle, yes. He he he's her brunkle. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle. Can you like give me one of those other tabs? I guess it's still probably better than other. Can you please <laughs> give me one of those other tabs so I can pop these out? Oh, I can't take all the credit for Austin. Here. Austin was a, a joint venture with his father. His dad actually had a pretty there. good hand. You should be able to pull them off from that. Well. Here's one of them. <laughs> yes, Krista. He's her uncle. He's my son. Here's two of them. Yeah, Terry, she's definitely, she's she's way prepared. It was her decision to, to do this lat to bicep. She, she insisted upon doing it. Is Austin cooking for me? No, Austin, I, I ordered food for Austin because he's helping me out around the house. Here's three of them. I haven't really been cooking as much lately. Or here's three of them. I still cook though, just not nearly as much as I used to. Yeah. Here's That's a really good point. I, I, I missed who said that, but um, hopefully you know I'm talking about you. There. The comment about him and if the roles were reversed. That's a very, very good point. So this goes on here, right? Huh? We don't often think about this that goes kind on of here. stuff, do we? Doesn't we this? should. I'm confused, but okay. This goes I'll on tell you here, later. I think. Does this go on here? Uh, no, that goes onto these, and then this is going to be assembled onto another piece. I mean, and honestly, I don't think that, that he entirely minds, but totally understand what you're saying. Okay, so I'll just hold this over here. <laughs> okay, you're intriguing me more and more with this. <laughs> It was just a, it, it was about like if, if roles were reversed and you were a 23 year old girl instead of a 23 year old boy and the comments that were being made, like calling you a stud muffin and stuff like it would be inappropriate. Oh, I see. Right. I mean, compliments are compliments. Take them where you can get them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's It's a true. different dynamic, I guess. Yeah. When, you know. Okay. Different mindset receiving them. So, now what do you do? Well, we need to figure out, we need to match these up with these, so M6 to M6. I'll do that. And I believe... Can I do that? 56%, are you guys going to make like, it? I don't know. You put it like this, so that these parts are in line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, M5 goes on this one. M5... She's, she's fun. Yeah, I definitely enjoy her. Oh, she's a load of fun. Fine. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And one. Goes just like this, right? Two, three, one, four. 
Sharon says, wow, I'm Christmas crafting, and I looked over, and they got far on that rocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's not seeming Christmas to go on. In July? She's, she's getting ready. <laughs> Here. Maybe it. Maybe I mean, it it's is only December think about it. there. August, it's September, July. October. There's only four more months until December. Yeah. So if you're ta if you're crafting, it takes time, right? Yeah, that makes sense. There. What an uncle you have. He's Ooh. like a big brother. I mean, that's always been the case with Anna, though. Like, both of my children are are more like her siblings because There's of M7. me being her mother. You know, and raising her as a mother. Can you even put hmm. shit on? They fit on very oddly. No, Jillian, I don't talk about other people's private business, so we don't we don't discuss anything that has to do with, you know, like Austin's here right now, so if he wanted to talk about something about himself, he could, but I don't talk about Austin when he's not here. I don't talk about my daughter. I don't talk about Anna's father. Like, they're not... It's not my place to discuss their business. Probably, if they're not here, then you wouldn't really talk about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've adopted her now, so legally I'm, I'm her parent. So we just, we just, you know, talk about our own story and share our own lives. <laughs> but yeah, I've had her, I've had her since she was four months old. So the dynamic in our family is very much of, you know, she's my child and therefore my children are like siblings to her. And you've got two more left. An in-person meet and greet? Not anytime soon. Not with, not with this pandemic going on. I mean, I have thought it would be nice at some point, maybe, but unfortunately it's not i got pinched anytime <laughs> soon i don't think why do you get to suck on your finger if you get pinched because it hurt oh, instinct usually when i cut my fingers i suck on them oh what is that hmm. part that you're putting together it looks cool this is that's the part uh, of the cone for stage two the upper cone it's where the rocket will start getting more narrow Huh, okay. Alright. What's next? Next is the J and G sections, which... It looks like a hat. Mary says, who's having the most fun here? Me! <laughs> Are you having fun? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm having the most fun and he's having the less fun. <laughs> the less fun, yes. The least fun and the most fun. I see. You're having the least fun because it's hard to build. It is actually pretty difficult. No, Leanne, we haven't really been paying much attention. Other than, like, I've seen articles and Aaron and I have passed a couple things back and forth, but... Okay, I feel like... I feel like I'm missing something here. Okay, yeah, so I do need these. Look oh, at Karen, I don't think... The GoFundMe isn't on the webpage. I, I don't know. Yeah. I should probably add it there, I guess, but... Uh, right now, it's not it's not on the web page. It's on the um, AMC Princess Anna Operation High Five page. So there's another Facebook page that we keep uh, because we started fundraising. She was supposed to have this surgery last March. So we started fundraising for the surgery last January, okay. and I started a Facebook page just for the surgery. It's called AMC Princess Anna Operation High Five. And so if you type AMC Princess Anna into the search bar on Facebook, it will come up in the list. And you'll be able to click over to that page. And on that page, there's an update about the GoFundMe and a link to it if, you, if you're looking for that. Okay. Another one. Oh, thank you, Karen. And Karen just pasted the link. So if anybody's interested, it's right there. Just going to get all these tabs out real quick so the battery doesn't die while we're still streaming. Thank you, Kara. Yeah, that's a good idea because we're at 50%. Yeah. I should teach parenting classes? No, I should not. <laughs> <laughs> I just do my best. I am not the person that should be teaching anyone. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that's something where it's really a case-by-case -case basis. I don't think there's really any, like 
perfect means of parenting. Right. No, I agree. Someone asked me about that before, about writing a parenting book. And I said, you know, it's just, I never liked parenting books because it is. It's it's a case by case. It depends on the child and the dynamics of the parent and the situation. Yeah. There's so many variables. Conditions of the household. No one should be expected to follow any one way of parenting. And that's why I always tell people when they when they make comments about my parenting, like negative comments, I'm like, you know, you can parent your kid however you feel fit based on your situation. Like, I'm parenting for our situation and my child and how she is. Preach it. What? Have you guys seen the kiwi boxes? Yes, we used to get them. We still have some to do, actually. We were doing them last summer up north. <laughs> so how do these go on? This one is actually a lot simpler from the looks of it. Anna, Rachel wants to know if you're ready for your surgery. I'm a little bit nervous and um, um, I'm, I'm a little bit scared and I'm happy. I'm, I'm scared because I think, I don't think the recovery will go really well from two surgeries. You don't think it'll go well or you think it'll be, it'll be hard? Yeah, I think it'll be hard. Yes, I agree. I was going to say, I think hard. you'll... It'll be a lot of hard work, but I think it'll go well. I think you're going to be able to handle it like a pro. Yeah. Knowing you, you're going to blow right through it. <laughs> Alright. G3, J3. Can I try to put one on? Here. Oh, Michelle, we delete, you... we delete so many Actually, negative I'll comments every day. Me and the other moderators. It's a non-stop thing. And then I can there. put the other on. People always have something negative to okay. say, no matter what. <laughs> no. No. Trying to find the right pieces. You need another piece to go on this side. Here, this is... Eileen says oh, you have so many people so rooting for you, Anna. This is J2, so it's going to go right on that one. She's, oh. she's not paying attention. <laughs> She's working on building the rocket ship. J2. So it'll go. <clears throat> Put this like. Can you hold that just like that for me? Yep. So it goes just like this. Yep. Yeah. It'll go on this piece right here. Can you line it up? Yep. Just push it a little bit. Yeah, see what I mean? They're a little tricky to get on. Yeah. Definitely yeah. tricky. Definitely tricky. <laughs> It'd be nice if Austin could go with us. Uh, I mean, there are probably points in time where it would be nice to have Austin around just for physical or moral support because especially when Anna has her arm in a splint and both of her legs in cast, that's gonna be the hardest, I think, three to four weeks for me, um, is when I have to do everything for her and carry her everywhere and, you know, toileting and feeding and like everything, I have to do everything. You've got... Um, and she's probably gonna get stir crazy because she's not gonna be able to do anything herself. She can't use that arm and she won't be able to move around. Three more. So at that point, it'd probably be nice to have someone around, but... Oh. Yeah. Austin's Austin's a grown man now and we don't, you know, too much too much togetherness is not good after a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the most part it'll be just Anna and I. Stepping on each other's toes turns into stomping. <laughs> what does that mean? Stepping on I mean each Aaron's toes. To Aaron's taking us down and Hopefully he'll be able to an expression, just come saying, back and like, visit, and then he'll to be bringing, helping us get home. Yeah. I think at the end of things, so he'll be around a bit. But that's it. No one else is. I think it's lined up. Oh, there we go. There. But that's okay. I'm, I'm not. Again. Um. Just Anna and I are like used to being alone. Is. Okay. Looks like some kind of like telescope if one side was open, though. Okay, and then now it needs... That looks cool. Now where's... How does that go in between the sides? Looks like you need L3 pieces, which are... Does it go, like, over the sides or inside the sides often? 
uh, you connect it with oh, these parts to go inside the little slots here and then it attaches right on top. Oh, so that whole thing goes on top of the bottom piece. Yes. I see. So are there more of those long? Oh yeah, there's more long pieces. I see, I see. There's lots of those long pieces. Thank yeah, you, I'm Molly, for the they... stars. Thank you guys for all the stars. The stars that we raise are they going, if people don't know, easy. Oh. they're going towards our trip. Um, towards the travel expenses to get down there and the lodging expenses to stay there and all that good stuff. Co-insurance for her surgery, co-pays, out-of-pocket expenses. That's where all that's going. So I appreciate all the stars you guys have sent this month. We actually skipped part of the uh, instructions because we are supposed to have this whole thing together at this point. Yeah. So I will get these side panels ready it's in a second fine. here. We can also do it our way just to make it, to make it the way. We should. Does this go on the outside or inside, though? Does the instruction manual inside. state how many pieces this thing has? Uh, it says right on the front of the box. 88. Oh, yeah. 88 model pieces. This is the box. They're doing the Smithsonian Build the Rocket. The Brainiac here had the pieces memorized. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Michael. Carolyn says, I like Austin. He seems very helpful, and Anna loves him. <laughs> Wherever you see no cut, that means it stops right there and you can't push it anymore. Okay, there. 44%. But it looks like you get they look the most like, of the piece, a lot of the pieces. They look like, um, yeah. those pieces look like a mushroom. May I ask who Aaron is? It, it's not a girl Aaron, it's a boy Aaron. <laughs> He's a friend. Okay, I see. So you have to put those other tabs on those tabs? Yeah. Just to make it right push it. Like that. This is going to be interesting trying to align it. Yeah, you're off. You're off line on the other side. Austin is patient just like you. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen me trying to put together this uh, uh, muscle anatomy model we did last week. <laughs> his arms. It was hilarious. The anatomy model of the muscle and skeleton things, his arms just wanted to fly off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just dropped off all the way. Yeah. It took me a while, to, and, it, and it's still not together all the way. It needs, like, more, more time. Mm -hmm. Thank Pushing. you, Val. Val says, nice to see Austin again. Thank you, Suzanne and Lynn and Anna for the stars. Anna? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, has the ex she has the exact same name as me. She's a double N, Anna. Right. Yeah. That's probably fine, as good as I'll be able to get that part. Fine, there's like just a little gap. And that just kind of sits right on that. Mm -hmm. We need to get these parts on though. Does the rocket really take off or is it just a model? Um, I think it's just a model. And I mean, I mean it might take off. It might. The power of imagination. <laughs> is Austin a better builder than Nana? Um, I think, can I stand up to try to build some of it? Sure. It's your model. <laughs> I've had it. <laughs> this is like our first time ever building something. No, I thought we did do a craft thing before. I don't think we did it on a stream, but I'm pretty sure we did do a craft thing before. I don't, I don't think it was like puzzle pieces. I, don't, I think it was like a puzzle instead of like a building. A rocket! Yeah, Austin Austin was around last summer when we went up north and we did some live streams together in the in the supporter group and on the main page. We did a cooking night together, a couple cooking nights together. Austin made paella. I've actually been thinking about cooking that again lately. I've been craving it. Really? It takes like four hours to make though oh. so 
Yeah, that was that was a really long uh -oh. involved process. Three. Uh -oh. Sure. Okay. Yeah. E5. But it turned out it turned out amazing. Like it looked fantastic. Cricket. Cricket. <gasps> little baby cricket. Cricket. Where'd you come from? Hi, little cricket. Come over here. Well, we've had every bug known to man in this house this <laughs> season. Like, like it, it pretty should... much like one of each bug, but then more than one mosquito and spider, of course. But we had like one millipede thing. Had like only one handprint on your back for mosquitoes, though. <laughs> All right, so can I put these on? Crickets are good luck, Donna says. Yeah. Oh, well. Can you hold this Lucky so I can cricket. push this on? Can you it's hold this so I can push sound. it on? Hold on one sec. Normally, crickets would make sound, but oh yeah, Deborah, that was an, that was right. kind of intentional. Is that the right number lined up? Yep. Or letter C one on the bottom. Wait, no, it's E five. Let me see. C3, so that would go actually right here. Oh. Here, I'll get the bottom one on for you. Then why does that say E5? Here. Well, that's E. Oh. I might have goofed early on. Uh oh. I think. It's a take apart and redo. Um, it looks like it's the bottom piece, so that's actually really easy. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, come on. There. How far does Austin live? He's like an hour away. 50 minutes, yeah, pretty much. A4. Okay, yeah. I just had that flipped around. Yes, he's my son. Okay. Go, go, go like that. Anna should be an engineer. I should. <laughs> I should be a little rocket engineer. A rocket engineer? Okay, so. Rocket scientist. D5, D5, C3, C3. Yep, okay. It is all lined up now. Okay. That thing was just flipped around. No, Deborah, it's just me, my daughter, my son, and Anna. Actually, and, before we put these Austin's on. Dad. Before. Yep. Re put them on. What? I need to put these sides on first because they Wait. have the slot. 38%. It says E8 hustle, and you hustle. put it on E4. <laughs> D8, D4. Okay, now I am really confused. <laughs> Hold up. D2. Okay, so D2 and D2 line up. D6 and D6 line up. D8 and D4. Hold on. Did I? Okay. Yes, Debbie, that was that was kind of by design, I think actually. <laughs> one of those two are not right. No. It's probably... That was the idea, was to get down there and get things, hurry up and get them done, right? So we can get back at it. I have a feeling it's, the booster parts might be different, but that's not actually a problem because the colors are all the same anyway. So D8, E8 goes on here. <laughs> now, if there's any other problems mismatching beyond this, it's on them, not me. <laughs> Sticking to it. You know, if you don't exactly have to put them all on the right way, you can just put well, them on your way. Some of them line up with colors like that. Yeah. That's all my thing. Cheryl says, I need to get to bed, but I need to see the completed rocket. <laughs> <laughs> he needs we'll to hurry because we got 37% battery left. Oh, no. Oh, we'll make it. You think? Yeah. I mean, most of the part pieces are like empty, so. You got hurry up. It's a good thing Austin has Anna helping him. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that cricket go? You'll get stepped on, dude. Where'd you go? 
packed away. You should put them outside. No, we yeah. should we should put them up on the table so we can watch us build the rocket. <laughs> if I could find him, I don't even Are know. Are you just where gonna he went. hold the cricket captive? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's gotta eat and stuff. We I'm should give find him much food in here. I know. We should give Plain him like a bowl of outside. We should we should put him over by the window and then give him a bowl of uh water so we can <laughs> drink it and You just want a pet cricket now. Yeah. Yeah, Debbie, I hope we don't I hope we don't miss anything there. important with all the medical stuff. So we gotta get it we gotta get it done. Okay, that's all done. Not quite. She should be ready to self tape again by November is what I told her manager, so hopefully it'll work out. When will we have new merch? I I would really love to say by the time we leave next week. But I don't know. We'll see. All right. Um, Aaron's going to be here done. next week, so Looks maybe like I'll have some time done. to sit down and do it then. Excuse me? I think we need those H things. You can keep Anna occupied while I work on it or something. I don't can't find it. Where'd you go, Cricket? Okay, stage two. We, we what should part make some. connects stage two to one? Uh. Doesn't really have one. Oh, F2. Okay, so I'm looking for the F pieces. F. That's right All here. Got pieces of rocket launching at me. <laughs> Better than a whole rocket launching at me, at least. Ah. Put the cricket and the rocket and send him into space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should we should put the cricket in this little space and then put the little other stuff on there. The yeah, cricket already went into space apparently because he's gone. I did not see him anywhere. He ran. He bolted. Cricket, Cricket, where are you? Cricket, Cricket, Cricket! Oh, goodness. <laughs> Don't those go on the feet? No, these go right. Oh, here. Can I try lost to, a piece. Can I try to put one on? No, nah, because these ones are falling out really easy. <laughs> I call the Cricket the way you call your dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we have a chipmunk that hangs out out back that used to play with Mimi when she was alive and we call him Chippy and we call him like that too we're like here Chippy 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 <laughs> where do you get the kits you make we actually found this one at Costco really oh, cool. yeah it was it was at Costco hmm. Costco has really fantastic books like okay. their book section I've always loved it and sometimes they have you know books like this. So I think this was around Christmas time and there's like a whole book in the front of it. See? All this information about space and rockets and everything. And then on the inside of the box is the, the rocket that you build. Wow, look at that. It's getting bigger. It's getting taller. Smash it on there. I don't want to smash it on there. I'm going to break it. How old is my oldest daughter? I only have one biological daughter. She's 26. And my adopted daughter now, Anna, is five and a half. I'm even well, weirder than- home about bugs in the house. <laughs> well, we've lived here for uh, four years now and our, our place backs up to a big, 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 like nature field. So I, it's, I didn't used to be, but I've gotten used to it over the last four years. I used to freak out and scream and throw a fit and freak out some more. But then I realized I'm the only one here who's going to deal with it. So freaking out isn't doing anyone any good. Okay, that's probably the best you can do. Yeah, I don't know why, but this one does not want to go any further. Crooked rocket. <laughs> oh, well, that explains why. Why? It's not going to launch very well if it's crooked, eh? 
That's a little bit of tab still stuck in it. Ah, yes, that'll do it. That'll do it. Rhonda says, good job on the rocket, Austin. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How old is Austin? He's 23. Cool. It's getting taller. It's going to be as tall as you are when you're standing up. <laughs> the leaning tower of rocket. It's not leaning that much. <laughs> not anymore. All right. Okay, what's Watch next? Out. 30%, 30%. Oh, my leg is falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, so I just need to, to make oh, the no... needle part. Oh, really? Is that all that's left is the needle part? Well, yeah, the top part with the uh, the lunar module and sorry if the that actual was loud. spacecraft. You just bumped the boom mic. Oh, did I? Oh, sorry. <laughs> not used to that. And he is not even used to a boom mic. For my streams, I have a desk mic that just sits right there in front of me. Make a launch pad? Yeah, we should We should make a launch pad if we have any okay. extra pieces left. And there's not going to be any. That would be cool if they included one, though. Oh, no, this ripped when I was trying to open it. It's like the oh. old tabs out. Okay, I'll get it. Just trying to get all these pieces off so I'm not having to... Go back through and grab it them. Off outside. No, it's not like an actual. Um, it doesn't like actually go. It's we just kind of like a, a three D puzzle. We should make. We should make a launch pad and like we should put like a space guy in, <laughs> on like stuff, on like on the ceiling, to make it look like it's actually outside. A good summer out. project actually would have been one of those. Uh, model rockets you build that actually launch with the little like I forget what they use for propulsion thank you Anna for the stars kind of like a firework but um I don't think you could launch it around here at all because yep. they sometimes land hundreds of feet away oh yeah Deborah says you could name your future dog Astro yeah. <laughs> everybody oh. wants to know what you stream uh various Games, uh, strategy games, shooters, uh, puzzle games, RPGs. You definitely like the airplane games. Yeah, a lot of flight sims, simulators. I've got a full uh, simulator setup that I'm still expanding on that probably costs as much as my computer does at this point. There you go. <clears throat> There's a tab. I don't know where, where the other went. Alright. What parts do we need? Uh, we need... Where does he uh, stream? Right would love to watch. Do you want to I stream, stream on Twitch. Do you have like a handle they can look up? Uh, I use my online alias that I use for my art and streaming and everything. Um might be easier to actually write it down honestly uh g u n t h e r underscore d u k e underscore w e i s s you couldn't have come up with an easier handle <laughs> it's <laughs> gotta be catchy uh, and short and easy to type it's actually a <laughs> character name that I came up with for like um kind of like a D&D &D kind of thing way back mm -hmm. that I just kind of stuck with and started using as a pen name of sorts. Oh, thank you guys. They're typing it into the chat. Thank you. Thank you. 27%. I just got a low battery warning. We're going to we're going to make it. I think they're going to make it. They're getting really close. <laughs> Hannah, you look cute. Hey, why don't you tell everybody about your dentist appointment today? My dentist appointment went really well. <laughs> Shiny teeth. Why, she just like grin into the yeah, camera? Yeah, she's like, my dentist appointment went really well. And she's like, eee. <laughs> oh, Sounds about right. <laughs> Why does it say T T one T T one T T one T T one D? 
Those are the part labels, numbers, letters, numbers and letters. Part no, labels. No cavities. Very proud because she actually, so she started going to the dentist between a year and 18 months old. Um, and she went every three months at first just to get used to, like, to have that imprint of going. Get used to sitting in the chair, get used to the dentist putting her fingers in her mouth, poking around, the suckers, the noises, all that Careful. stuff. Careful. Um, and then when she was two and a half, then we started doing the every six months thing. But we haven't done it since the pandemic started. Um, she hasn't gone to the dentist in like a year and a half. So, you know, I wasn't sure, but no, she went back and she was total pro. She had... Uh, polish and fluoride and they did x-rays on the, the all of the, her whole mouth has been x-rayed now hey Anna please don't throw them there's one little bugger stuck <laughs> um what else go. what else happened at the dentist um she did x-rays she brushed my teeth with mm -hmm. mint Mm -hmm. She also put some vitamins in just to keep my teeth healthy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't need to vacuum See? over here. Queen teeth. Yep, and no cavities. I was very proud. She's not had a single cavity her whole life so far. Single cavity. Oh, and the dentist said that her two bottom front teeth are just, just starting to get a little bit loose. Oh. So sometime in the next six months, she'll probably lose them. Um... <laughs> But the, all of her adult teeth are there, and her teeth are nicely spaced, and there's room for the adult teeth to come in. So we're looking good. Everything's looking good. I'm going to do the uh, classic door handle teeth pull. No! Oh, no! <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Oof. Oof. Give me the heebie-jeebies. You've never done that? Mm, no. Mm, no. Mm. I can't even think about teeth wiggling around it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Don't like it. Fair enough. We need to make a Nicolas Cage face for it. <laughs> 24%. Okay, so what do we need to do? We're gonna start putting those pieces together. He's taking all the tabs out. He's taking all the tabs out. Here, while My you're doing that. Did the door handle pull. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Will the tooth fairy that. come? I don't know, Anna. Do you think the tooth fairy will come? Maybe. Maybe. What is the tooth fairy gonna leave you? Money. Money? <laughs> you think the tooth fairy leaves you money? Is that what you heard? <clears throat> yeah. Word on the street is. How much money does she leave you for a tooth? What street? <laughs> the Tooth Fairy Street. I don't know. How much money does she leave you for a tooth, Anna? I don't know. You know One. Where? What? One dollar. One dollar? Watch out. That seems fair. Let me see these. Because one tooth would probably equal one dollar, wouldn't it? That, that sounds reasonable to me. I think that's very reasonable. Okay, so... Maybe, maybe bigger teeth are worth a little more. Yeah, I think the I think those would probably like three dollars. Oh, okay. There we go. Tooth fairy's gonna come. Dollar per tooth. The big teeth are three dollars. I like it. So she's gonna give me two dollars. Oh, I can't plug in my phone, guys, because I have the boom mic plugged into my phone. See it up there. And I and she doesn't have two microphone. out and she doesn't have two outlets. I only have one hole in my phone, so we're at twenty two percent. Yeah, we should make it. We should. You might have like ten percent left, but <laughs> you don't need your phone. <laughs> Actually right. then we gotta get back to work because we still have a lot to do tonight before Austin leaves. Actually, yeah. if we if we ever want Rocket to... Man. Rocket Man! That was yeah. a good movie. That was a good movie. Didn't we watch that up north? Yeah, with Grandpa and Nancy. Yeah. That looks like that looks like a wrench. Right. This piece looks like a wrench. That is the antenna that goes on the I very top. Now you're gonna get songs stuck in my head. <laughs> Let's see how it is. 
I'm a rocket man. <laughs> All right, so. Are there decals? Uh, no. I'm I'm so addicted to trampoline. She is. She's totally. Have you guys heard that song, Trampoline, by uh? Sade. No, it's not Sade. It's uh. S A G E D. No, no, no. That's what it said. It's no, no. I think Shay? Google says her name wrong. I think it's Shade. It's like S A Y E D or something like that. But um, yeah, it's a really good song. Totally addicted oh, to it right hey. now. Oh Anna. No, you say it, Shade. Shade. What? Have the lunar module. Oh yeah. Last oh. concert I took ah. my mom to was Elton John. That's awesome, Sharon. Way cool. We did not watch. The rocket launch. It's pronounced shade. That's what I thought, Aaron. It's it, but it's spelled like differently. But it is pronounced shade. Or is it shade? Is it shade or shade? It's shade. I don't know. Google says it wrong, so I th we're not clear on on how to say her name. Anna, can you read to us anything else from the book? Yeah, that's a good idea. Do you want to read something while Austin's finishing it? keep doing my stuff. You want, she wants to keep putting pieces together. <laughs> Sade? Okay, Leanne says it's Sade. I think you're right, Leanne. I think I heard that somewhere. That's how Google said it. Yeah, Google said Sade. it's Sade. Yeah, if you guys haven't heard her song, Trampoline, you should check it out. It's really good. It's they really were addictive. singing it nonstop last time I was here a couple days ago. Then today on my way back over, it was on the radio too. On um, I think it was Octane on satellite radio. Yeah, no, Say sings "Smooth Apple Radar." I know that for sure. Did you see that video we put up the other night? Anna came out and she says, she says, "Mommy, who sings Smooth Apple Radar?" <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> you know, I had to pull out my phone and record because it was so funny. You know how you you hear lyrics wrong, and you like get them wrong, and you're singing it wrong. Oh. You know what it was? I told people in the comments, but I'll tell you guys now on the live since you're here. Um, when Austin and my daughter were little, th this is their... Poker uh, face? Yeah, this is their lyric screw up. Uh, oh, mess up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they were sitting in the back of my car singing Poker Face. They thought that it said, my butt, my butt, my butt, my butt broke her face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we sang it that way until we were <laughs> 10 years old, roughly. <laughs> but uh, we, even though we knew the proper lyrics after that point, it was still, we just... Right, it was so, it. It was so yeah. good wrong, you had to just keep it. It was like, way. yeah, it was a, a nostalgic mama, 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 improv face. kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah. That I, part's done. And I thought that uh, Smooth Operator, you know Oh, wait, hold on. Let me see that. Austin, mm -hmm. the song Smooth Apple Raider. You know that song? She thought it was I think I do. Smooth Apple Raider. <laughs> Diane wants to know if you've looked at space through a telescope, Anna. Um, I mean, I've, I've probably looked at it like a couple times. Mm-hmm. What do those even do? And we've also been to um, uh, quite a few planetariums, you know, pre-pandemic. We did that quite a few times she's been she's been interested in space since she was like two before since before she was balance. two because i have there's a video nope. of okay. her recognizing set on the side. saturn on a book when she was two years old oh. it looks like a little uh person when it's standing just like this doesn't it is that the what is that piece that is the part that houses the uh, lunar module. Mm. I believe it is. This is the lunar module. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Shauna. What's it called? You, can you look in the book and see what this part is called? Are there are there part labels in here? Yeah. Yeah, it should be the first or second page. Yeah, the first page. It's at the bottom. Here, do you want it, baby? Yeah, you can just set it right here. It's 
says it's the... So whatever part houses the lunar module, I think it's stage three. Uh, yes. Ah! Wrong way. I was scrolling back. Hello, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Back to the... People. Back to the people. Back did, to the rocket. The humans. Did it point at you? Yeah, I was trying to scroll back through the comments, and then it was looking at me. Yes, the third stage. Well, I guess you still got your uh, camera time, then. <laughs> yeah. Got my, my peeking. Mm. And I would love the Children's Museum Pecan of pie. Science in Boston. Yeah, I can't wait till we can get back to going to museums. That's something I definitely miss with this pandemic is going to museums and pre pandemic uh, zoos and stuff I feel like, like you two probably have, but have you gone to the hands on museum with her? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. probably when she was younger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Almost there. I know that used to be like my highlight for uh coming out here. Was that back. was that part? That and the Henry Ford. How do you know that? Hmm? Ah, 15%. It's red. It's red. <laughs> ah. All right. Um Okay, so this Science goes Science Museum on. in Chicago is great. We've I've never been to Chicago yet. You might drain the battery down to 2%. Mm -hmm. They're almost done. They're wrapping up the last couple of pieces. Hillary says, good to see you, Austin. <laughs> good to be here again. <laughs> You're cute. Does Anna like dinosaurs? Yes. One time, I, I was, it was a few years ago, I think we were down in Florida. We were at a dinosaur museum, and one of the dinosaurs was outside, and it had a microphone so you could hear the roar, and I freaked out. It was so mm -hmm. loud. I thought you were going to say one time you met a dinosaur, <laughs> and I was going to wonder how. And I'm sure we've all seen Jurassic Park. That didn't go well. <laughs> I've, I don't think I've seen Jurassic Park. I know, Jan. I've been keeping I've, an eye I've on saw, it. I've saw Jurassic Park oh. uh, like a game in one in like uh, Chuck E. Cheese or something. Okay. Luckily, I've never played it. We're not cohabitating with anyone. We, we're going to be staying in our own house that I'm renting, so we should be able to just you know go between the house and her appointments, and of course she'll have you know masks and visor and everything. Ah, on, so. ah. <laughs> It's falling apart. <laughs> I think the only time I feel like we'll be really vulnerable is when we're at the hospital. Look it. Mm. But we're gonna do our best to, you know, continue masking and social distancing because it is, it's getting really bad down there. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again. Okay. All right. What do we got left? Um. Just gonna put the pieces on the on the top now. Well, I need to form this onto here. Which. Does Anna like pelicans? Is there anything Anna doesn't uh, like to learn about? No. <laughs> I love to learn about every single thing. Yeah. In the world. Tomorrow she has a philosophy class. <laughs> With older kids. They're like 12 to 15 year olds. She's going to take a philosophy class. Mm -hmm. She's super excited about it. Wow. Oh, My Michael says, good to see you again, Austin. Hello. I know, this thing is a little bit hard. Wait, are Michael? Or? No. no. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Anna has never been to Alaska. Oh. I don't think we're going to be able to build this. What do you mean? Yeah, I It's think, like done. I think in the philosophy class you guys are going to talk about technology this week, right? Uh, I think so. Philosophy and technology. Philosophy Why do I have a like, feeling 
that is going to mean artificial intelligence. It probably does. Can we ask Anna questions? Yeah, people have been asking questions the whole time. Was that you? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what okay. do you say? Excuse me. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have to line it up. <laughs> Well, on the bright side, this actually doesn't matter much because, yeah, some of it's not lighting up. Is there still, like, tabs in there? I miss Anna's henna tattoo. I was thinking about that the other day, Lisa. I miss her henna tattoo as well. You know, thank you for saying that because she's not going to be doing any auditions until November because of the surgery, so I could actually do a henna. Anna, you want to do a henna before we leave for Florida? Yeah. We could actually do one. So it's just okay, it just goes on like that, and then that goes Ooh. on top of the okay. oh, wait, no, we can't because she's having headshots on August 8th. Ooh. We could do it after that, we'll All take right. it to Florida with us. And with that, <laughs> whoa, it is complete. Look at that, it looks like a skyscraper. <laughs> Stand up, bug. <laughs> Here, let me move the bean bag. I'm almost as tall as oh, watch it. Oh, the, the wall. It's taller than you. Yeah. How, what if you put it on the floor over here next to her? Uh, give me one second to clean this up. Okay. And put on. <gasps> told you. It oh, says. Goodness. I told you we finished You did too. You said 10%, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Austin totally called it. What does it say, babe? It says that the Apollo spacecraft weighed nearly a hundred thousand pounds. Goodness. That's probably why it's. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna vacuum tomorrow, yeah. so don't be too worried about it. Just whatever you can get out. Just make sure it's enough out that it won't wobble around. Everybody says excellent job. Debbie says that's awesome. <laughs> Wow, that's impressive. Amazing amazing job. There's so much patience. Does this thing fly? It does not. It's basically just a 3D puzzle. But it's super cool. Ooh, look at you picking it up. <laughs> I'm flying it. Tracy says, wow, 100,000 pounds. Yeah. Anna would love it's only, Cape it's Canaveral. Like, um, I this look, part is 100,000 pounds. I looked into that, Cape Canaveral, and okay. they still have a lot of stuff shut down. That would probably weigh like three pounds. All right, so come stand next pizza. to it. Let's see how tall you are next to it. I'm taller than it. Oh yeah, you're definitely taller than you're quite. It's almost up to your shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. We should make a space panel for it. A what? A space panel. A space panel. Yeah, one of those rocket panels. Enjoyed watching this one with Uncle Austin. Yeah, this is fun. And everybody was everybody was wanting me to take some video of him the other day, and we totally forgot because we were so busy working on it. So yeah. I figured this would be a nice fill-in for it. We should actually make a video of oh, it Oh, did outside. you want to read your poem real quick? There's 8%. You've got enough time to read this thing that you wrote. Look at this. She wrote this all out. She said she wanted to read it at the end. Um, so. Oh, that was actually for, oh, like, yeah. nobody to see it, but it was just for me. Are you going to do it? Hurry up. No. You say goodbye. No? No. You, you were so adamant you wanted to read it at the end. No, it was, I think it was, it was just because I wanted, I wanted to like read it in the normal ways after it was like done, but I didn't want you to show them it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't. Do you, but you can still read it to them. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess I ruined it. I don't know. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> we got to go. Austin and I have to get back to work, and it's getting late. So thank Quarter you so much 10. for all the stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. All the stars. And uh, we will see you guys. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye. This is the final project. Say bye to Uncle Austin. Probably won't see him again for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> Hi and bye, bye Austin.